This video brought to you in part by these fantastic Patreons. Patreons are the lifeblood and the backbone of this channel and help with cool things like the giveaway in the description. This video also brought to you by Amino App. Amino App takes the best bits of multiple social medias and rolls them into one easy to use bundle. I've been very active over on the Fate Grand Order Amino, and one of the things I've really been enjoying is I have a post up asking you to ask me questions. Now I have answered some of these. Some of them are really, really good, and I will be using them in future content, such as Q&A Sundays with Camera Guy Ryan. So hit the description, join the Amino, follow me, and with that said, let's get into the video. Greetings Masters, it's that time again. A new singularity means new things to farm and new places to farm them. In this video, we will be going over the best drop per AP in each node. Now I will also be bringing up different alternative nodes if they're an option or if they're semi-close. I will be pulling from the JP data as there's a much much larger sample size of runs with that being much further along than the NA server. So with those things said, let's jump into it. First up, we're gonna go through all of the bronze materials. Proof of Heroes is going to start out this list. Now, Okeanos Pirate Ship is going to retain the number one spot for AP efficiency at 20 AP per drop. The Pirate Ship is also going to be a 12 AP node with a 60% drop rate. Now, efficiency be damned, you will want to farm these bad boys in Dallas in the America Singularity. It's it's actually really not that bad overall. You're looking at about 25 AP per drop with a 68% drop rate. Now, moving on to Evil Bones, get ready to hang out in Fuyuki for a while as XC and XG are going to be your go-to nodes. XC will provide you with the better efficiency at about 22 AP per drop, but it's really brutal. 4 AP node that is a 18.5% drop rate, so you're gonna be there for a while. However, at an extra 2 AP per drop, 24 AP per drop, you are going to be able to farm these much, much faster in XG, which has a 64%-ish drop rate. For Bones, I'm, I'm definitely gonna suggest XG on this one. For Dragon's Fangs, Deming is going to retain the number one spot for efficiency at about 27 AP per drop. This is also going to come with a 62% drop rate, which is only slightly surpassed by Eridu in Babylonia. Eridu is going to be dropping Fangs at a rate of one per 32 AP. You do have a 66% drop. So overall, Deming is likely going to not only be easier but yield fangs at a much faster rate and save you some AP in the long run. Next up is going to be Void Dust, that black powder that every servant seems to need a Scarface level pile of. America, Charlotte, both number one in efficiency and drop rate, 31 AP per drop, about 64% chance to drop it. Now moving on to Chains Camelot is going to still be the go-to for chains. Again, this is going to be an easy one. Both the most efficient and the highest drop chance goes to the Wastelands. 29 AP per drop and a 64% chance to drop them. This is going to make this your best place by a long shot when it comes to farming these clanky boys. Poison Stingers, this one is going to be in Babylonian. Field of Reeds will be the spot at 34 AP per drop and a 62% drop rate. Now, with Shinjuku coming out, you're gonna get a new material and that's going to be Magical Spinal Fluid. So, where are you gonna farm it? Of course, you're gonna farm it in Shinjuku. Shinjuku Station outshines the second place spot by almost 18 AP per drop. The station is going to boast a fluid every 32 AP with a 65% drop rate. Now, moving on to the silver materials, seeds. Once we saw Babylonia drop, we finally got a seed node that was reasonable to farm. With Bountiful Sea coming in at almost 60 AP per seed, when Fallen Babylonia hit us with a 20 AP decrease, it was a godsend. 40 AP per drop at almost a 50% drop rate is really, 
really nice. Now, Ghost Lanterns are up next, and who doesn't need a pile of these? Back to Babylonia, Kutha is going to barely eke past the Mausoleum in Camelot at 52 AP per drop versus the 59 needed to clear the Mausoleum. Kutha has a 40% drop rate, making it pretty easy to farm these out. Octuplet Crystals, Holy City, yeah, Camelot's Holy City is going to be your best bet by far in the current landscape. It does get a lot better in the future though. For now, you are looking at 73 AP per drop and a 27% drop rate. It's not really all that great, like, at all, but it's better than Okeanos's two current C at 126 AP per drop. Snake Jewels, these are similar to Octuplet Crystals in that we do get a better place in the future, but for now, we're just here to suffer. The Bog in Babylonia is going to be around 79 AP per drop at a drop rate of 26%. Your next best bet is back in Okeanos at the Sunken Rock Seas if you want to drop around 107 AP just to get a jewel. Now, Phoenix Feathers. Always needed, always hard to farm. Sadly, if you are looking to farm these at the moment, you only have really two options, the 30 AP Saber Dailies on Sunday or Okeanos in the Bountiful Sea. Neither one of these is pretty. The Saber Training Ground will drop these at a rate of 150 AP per drop with a 20% drop rate. Bountiful Sea, you can do these anytime you want, but at 181 AP investment per feathers, that's going to get a yikes from me, dog. Moving on to the next one is going to be gears, 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 gears. Previously, you would hit up Chicago to disassemble yourself some machines, but with Shinjuku dropping, you are going to want to hit the barrel tower. 46 AP per drop at a 46% drop rate puts it a decent amount ahead of the previous first place. Next is gonna be pages. I know no one watching this needs any pages, but we're gonna go over it regardless. Hyde Park was a lot of fun and definitely not a pain in the butt with pages seeming to never drop. So why change up your spots? Well, I guess if for some reason you do need pages, Shinjuku brings a much better place to farm. Shinjuku to Chome is going to be a bit better, not a ton better, but hey, when it comes to pages, any increase is welcome. 68 AP per drop with 31% drop rate is going to look really nice next to the old Hyde Park at 74 AP per drop and a 27% drop rate. Again, it's not a huge increase, but couple it with the fact that it's the number one spot for something else, well, it makes it a lot more appealing and, well, we'll talk about that shortly. Homunculus babies, 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 so many babies. Sadly, Southwark is going to be the best place for this, and it's the best place by far currently. At 62 AP and a 30% drop rate, it blows the City of London out of the water, seeing as the drop rate there is about 127 AP per drop. Oof. Horseshoes. Now, when Camelot dropped, it gave a horseshoe node that will likely never be surpassed. 49 AP per drop at a 45% drop rate. Yeah, Land of the Void makes farming Caldera Island for drops look like a descent into masochism. For perspective, the drop rate on Caldera Island was around 132 AP per drop. So, yeah, F. Knight's Medals is up next. That's right, Royal Castle is going to be touting a drop rate of 56 and a half AP per drop. That's a 37% drop rate. Now, I'm actually going to suggest the main gate on this one as it is actually a lot easier to clear for a minor increase in AP per run. Up next is going to be Seashells. Previously, Okeanos was your only option for these, but then Babylonia dropped and everything changed. Babylonia brought the Observatory to us, which is easily number one. 51 AP per drop at a 41% drop rate currently stands at the top of the game as of the time of this recording. Now, with the silvers out of the way, let's go for gold. Chaos Claws, Des Moines is going to stay the best spot with a 90 AP drop rate. Hearts, now you may have heard in previous videos that the reason people are actually hype for Shinjuku is the fact that we will finally be able to farm hearts outside of events and training grounds. And 
It's actually a really good rate comparatively. 12% drop rate at about 171 AP per drop. Now, to put this into perspective outside of events, you had a 6% chance to get a heart in the training grounds. So if you were farming hearts, get ready to sink about 632 AP on average just to get a single heart drop. Yeah, yikes. Reverse scales, Nippur and Babylonia by far and away is going to be the best spot to farm these. 160 AP with a 13% drop rate versus the Rider Training Grounds daily at 548 AP. Yeah, hard pass on that one. Spirit Roots, the nice thing about Roots is that they drop in Camelot at the Holy City, which also has a chance to drop octuplet crystals. Not only can you farm spirit roots at 164 AP per drop, but you can also pull in some octuplet crystals as well. Warhorse Horns, East Village in Camelot is going to still retain that number one spot and be your best bet for this one. 110 AP per drop actually makes this one of the easier gold items in the game to farm. Now, up next is going to be Tear Stones of Blood. Remember when I mentioned pages? That's right, Shinjuku 2 Chome is going to be your best spot for pages and Tear Stones. 114 AP per drop on the Tear Stones. So while you're farming those pages, you can get stocked up on your Tear Stones of Blood as well. Now on to Black Beast Grease. This is going to stay in Northern Hill Babylonia and at 112 AP per drop with an 18% drop rate, it's not going to be surpassed for a while. Lamps, Hidden Village is going to stay the best place for a while to come. 134 AP per drop is actually not too bad and it's a pretty quick and easy node to clear. Scarab of Wisdom. Again, you're going to stick around in Camelot for these. The Great Temple is by far and away the best spot at 186 AP per drop. Now, Primordial Lanugo's Blood Fort Babylonia is hands down going to be the top spot for this. At 19% drop rate, you're looking at one of these every 110 AP. Cursed Beast Gallstones. There is currently only one place in the game to farm these, so it's it kind of wins by default. Mount Abbey, the numbers say 170 AP per drop, but I feel like that's a myth, a lie, if you will, kind of like raid up. So there you have it, folks. The current best AP efficient places to farm ascension materials. Now, this is going to assume that you do have the teams in order to clear these at a fairly decent pace. If you don't, there are other options and you can take a look at the spreadsheet that is linked down in the description to find some second, third and fourth place nodes that you might be able to farm a little bit easier. But for all intents and purposes, if you are looking for the most AP efficient nodes, these are your spots. So I hope that this video has helped you out with farming things and seeing why some of these new nodes are much, much better. But I would like to take this time to thank all of the Patreons who helped make this channel possible. You guys are the real gold material. If you would like to join them, there is a link down in the description. But if you would like to help out the channel, just make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification, drop me a like and a comment, and I We'll catch you next time. Take it easy, Masters. Peace.